There are times on the farm or homestead where you've got a heavy load to be lifted, like this log here. And you may not have access to a tractor or heavy machinery, especially if you need to lift that log pretty high, like I do. So what do you do? Well, you resort to an old-fashioned method, the gin pole, to lift heavy, awkward objects. And I'm going to show you how to build one today and how to use it. Now I'm in the process of building a pole barn shed for my new sawmill and I've put up a few poles already which simply involves digging a deep hole and then placing the poles into the holes where I can then fill and set the poles firmly in place. But some of the poles are taller and bigger than I can handle alone by hand. So I'm going to build an old fashioned gin pole to help me get these bigger poles up and in place as safely as possible. Now a gin pole is basically a primitive crane to which is attached a block and tackle for lifting heavy objects. As the name suggests, I'm going to need a pole, preferably a long one made from a tree that is, first of all, a tree big enough and thick enough to handle the load of the weight I'll be lifting, and secondly, it's small and light enough I can maneuver it around by hand. Now this slender young elm tree I found should do just fine as a gin pole, and actually cutting it will allow the more desirable oaks around it to grow a little more quickly. Now the butt end of the gin pole is going to rest in a hole that'll hold it and keep it secure as the gin pole is lifted up. And that hole is not very far away from the hole that I'm putting the post in. I've already dug the hole out a little bit, but I'm going to knock out one side of the hole just so that the gin pole can set down into the hole a little more easily as I'm lifting it up. Next, I'm going to use some one buys that I've milled on the sawmill, and I'm going to make a crude cross piece that will temporarily hold the top of the gin pole up until I can get some pressure on it and hoist it the rest of the way with a come along. A block and tackle is attached to the top end of the gin pole using just a short chain, while another chain is attached a little further down the gin pole. A long cable is going to be attached to this second chain, which will stretch several feet away toward an anchor point, which can be a tree or a post set firmly in the ground. In this case, I'm using a tree that is not too far away. As I said, a come along is used to secure the cable to the anchor point and will be the mechanism to adjust the height of the gin pole. Hey, today's video is sponsored by me, and I want to tell you about my book, Building an Old Fashioned Pole Barn. Maybe you need your own workshop, a barn, a shed, or maybe even a chicken house. Well, a pole barn could be just the thing because it's relatively simple for one person to build. You may not even be a carpenter or have ever built anything. My book can help you out. There aren't any complicated blueprints to try to figure out. There's only simple step-by-step -step instruction on how to build a pole barn from start to finish. So go to my website, farmhandscompanion.com, Look for the general store section and then find my book, Building an Old Fashioned Pole Barn. Now before lifting the gin pole up to its operating height, two other anchor points are going to be driven on either side of the gin pole. They could be wooden stakes. Uh, in this case, I'm using just a couple of T-posts that I'm driving in the ground temporarily. Ropes are tied to each one of these and will keep the gin pole from swaying out of control as it's raised to operating height with the come along. Now I'm going to use a special kind of knot on these ropes where I can let out a little bit of slack on each one, one at a time, until I get the gin pole hoisted up into place. Because I don't want too much slack on either one side or the pole might fall over.
Now with the gin pole in position and ready, the business end of the block and tackle is connected to the barn pole that's going to be raised at what will be about two-thirds of the height of the pole. Now with some short boards placed temporarily in the hole to keep the barn pole from overshooting the hole, the barn pole is ready to be raised. Now a gin pole like this one is a good option for several things on the farm or homestead, like lifting heavy wall logs when you're building a log cabin or a log barn, or lifting heavy logs or loose hay onto a truck or trailer. So remember, the next time you have a heavy load to lift and you don't have heavy machinery to lift it with, consider the old-fashioned gin pole.